So I want everyone to know, we didn't come to town because we're here for any litigation. That is simply not the truth. We do this across the country. We are here on our time and our dime because we want to be. There is a water crisis throughout this country and there's so many things that communities can do. And so anybody's gonna tell you we're here to cause a big lawsuit, that's not true. I'm here because your community reached out to me. I always find that perplexing when communities get to a point where they're so frustrated that they have to come to me because their own agencies are not listening to them. So three, four years ago, I shared um, 20, 30 people kind of from the area came forward, had some concerns. A year or two ago, that number went up to suddenly this year, thousands have reached out to me. And as I shared, it's very frustrating that you're not being heard. And it, I'll share with you something that I say often, and I go way back to when I began in Hinkley, California. I, along with the community, saw green water. I, along with the community, saw two-headed frogs. The community was dealing with, why are we having these rash issues? Why are our children having these rash issues? And the frustration became, everybody they tried to work with to find out what was going on told them, wait a minute, what you're seeing isn't really happening. What you're experiencing, you're just crazy. I mean, I stood there myself looking at green water and two-headed frogs and was told that's the standard. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm not buying that. And we were in it and experienced it, and we're pushed on. You're not a doctor, you're not a lawyer, you're not a scientist, you're not a politician, therefore, we don't want to hear from you, what do you know? I'm sorry, excuse me. I do not have to be any of that. To be a human being and to tell you I am in this situation, seeing it, feeling it, living it, and breathing it. And yes, what I have to say matters. Yes. So, I want to just go back real quick why we are here. We are here because you've been experiencing a chlorine burn. And people are having problems and reactions to it. You're experiencing a chlorine burn because back here they haven't been treating the water properly, which has led to your chlorine burn. Now, I'm not going to take up Bob's time. I understand this, but there is nobody like Bob Bocock that is going to explain it to you better so you understand it. But we're not here because something just happened and we're all a little magically crazy. Something has gone wrong on how they are treating the water that has led to this situation. Now, when we talk about trihalomethanes, most people go, oh, THMs, you know, what's that? Oh, you know, it's fine. But actually, THMs are highly regulated by the EPA and the Safe Drinking Water Act because they're carcinogenic. So if we're not maintaining our THMs properly, and they could be reaching you, when we go into a chlorine burnout, there's a problem. And so people are looking to just tell me what you're doing, why it's happening, what we need to know so we can better protect ourselves. But when they don't listen, guess what happens? We start to distrust the system. And there's a lot of distrust going on. Very much. I like to come in and give everyone the benefit of the doubt. I believe in all of us as a whole should have clean, safe drinking water. That's not reserved for any one group. It's right. for us all. That's right. So That's right. I like to come in and have an open mind. And I want you to know, you are not alone. Bob and I have zigzagged our way across the United States of America. 
And we have a national water crisis. We're just not talking about it. And we're no stranger to the state of Texas. We have worked successfully with the cities, with the communities, and with the agencies in Corpus Christi, Texas. We have worked successfully with those agencies, those cities, those municipalities, and those people in Bridge City, Texas, in Midland, Texas, in Tyler, Texas, in Brady, Texas, and now we're here tonight. And one thing that is amazing for us is to watch within the communities is they learn, they get involved and proactive within their communities, they run for office, they run for city council, they're winning those seats, they're implementing new laws, new policies, and changes that affect the outcome of everybody's safe water. So I could not be more proud, more happy, and more excited to see all of you here tonight. Commitment and change begins at home. It begins inside of you. It begins in believing that your voice, what you see, what you're experiencing, in fact, does count. I believe, starting tonight, going forward, you will be heard. And we are here just to assist however we can along the way to give you the tools to do just that. Keep speaking out. So with that, again, I can talk forever. I'm going to have Bob come out. But we literally have fooled ourselves, this isn't a North Texas, this is a national drinking water issue, into believing that our doctors understand what's in our drinking water. They have no clue. I would challenge anyone in this nation to find me a doctor that knows about this at all. So. Yep. Oh, Aaron. Sorry, I'm just going to sit down here. Lauren. Yeah. It's here? Uh, right here. Oh, hey. Can we get up in chat? I didn't know she was here. Bless you. That's what I was trying to get here. who were stable, they were being treated, they were stable, they were doing great, and then all of a sudden they were in a flare. You know, nothing had changed, they were using their medications, they were no longer working. And so I started having my patients add a chlorine filter to their showers to help get the chlorine down because during, at the time, my understanding was during the burn they were higher, not really realizing all the you know, chemistry behind this. Um, so they started doing that, we started seeing some improvement. Um, what we've since found is with the chloramine and the Berkey showerhead filter that I thought was working so well, it doesn't work so well with the chloramine. Um, so we found in the group that stacking a vitamin C filter and then the Berkey actually gets more of the chlorine and chloramine out and the ammonia down um, and brings the pH down. Vitamin C brings the pH down, which is really important for skin. Our water is testing at an 8 and an 8.2 mph and our skin is acidic, our skin likes to be at a 5.5. So this very alkaline water is damaging to the skin and causes dryness and irritation. So the vitamin C helps bring that down. It doesn't address everything, but it at least helps. 